In general, it was um, it was almost it wasn't even difficult. It just took longer. You know, because <coughs> once you do everything, it just takes so much more time mm -hmm. than having you know a million people involved. Mm -hmm. But uh, also, which is it was easier, I would say, because we were so free in our choices mm -hmm. and we didn't have to compromise and talk to people about it. We just did whatever we wanted to do, and then we created exactly the sound we wanted to have. So. Um, in the end, I feel like it was I think what's more, yeah, it, oh, for sure. But, but but what's the most difficult part? I think in general is like to say it's done. You know, mm -hmm. it's like to, to to have a song and say like, okay, this is the final mm -hmm. mix, this is the final master, it's done. You know, we, don't touch yes. it. We, we often so want to to make it better and better. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, you're always like constantly working and working and until like the record company comes and says like, you know, guys, that deadline, we need the record. Mm -hmm. You keep on working and working and working. I think if if no one would have set us a deadline, I think we would still work on it. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, please tell us about your time out. Uh, what has changed in your life for these years and what do you most miss uh, in your life? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Did you miss without a scene? Did you miss... Uh, uh, without, without, without concerts and oh, uh, scene? I see. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I mean, we definitely needed that break. So we mm -hmm. kind of took that break because we needed it for you know, our personal life and we just got a little older and then also for the inspiration of the band, like, we, I, felt, I feel like we just ran out of, um, you know, energy and inspiration and we just mm -hmm. got a little tired. So, we were really kind of like running away from the fame. We didn't want to be famous anymore for a while and then, um, and then we, we just had to find the fun again and then we went in the studio and we um, got inspired by new things and, and life changed definitely, you know, Tom and me, we moved to America and we started mm -hmm. a completely new life, uh, I would say we, we slide, you know, and, and so th this is one, one <laughs> the world, yes. yeah, and this is one of the reasons why we took that break too, is because, you know, when, for the, when we took that break, like uh, after the last record, we felt like, you know, no inspiration anymore as well, like, you know, on the creative side, we had nothing to write, you know, so it was like, because we were pretty much, you know, hiding be behind, you know, tall mm -hmm. fences and walls and, you know, staying in the house all day because we couldn't really live life. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, on the creative side as well, it was really important to live life, you know, that, and, and that we have something to write about, you know, find love, friendship, parties, you know, the regular stuff, what you do in life. So. Um, and that inspires us the most. Yeah, yeah. everything. Just not be so guarded anymore, mm -hmm. you know, because we, we we were like really guarded. Yes, I see. Uh, how do you think? Are your fans different in different countries? Or music um, <coughs> erases all barriers and uh, all fans are the same? <laughs> I do feel like that a little bit. I feel like everyone's... Sure. everyone's Especially kind of our fans, like they are so united all over the world. I feel like we do something in Mexico and the people in Russia know about that, you know, right away. Uh, we play a concert and like when we come off stage, we can already hear the first song on YouTube, you know, it's like, it's like everything is so... It's the fast. internet. It's the internet, yeah. yeah. But uh, every, every, I, I feel especially with our fans, like they're really connected to each other. Like it's mm -hmm. like, a, like a big family. They yeah. share, you know, they, they love each other. The information. And, and, yeah, they do stuff together it's and it's really cool. Huh? Well, well, okay. Uh, what are your impressions of Russia and the Russian people after visiting several cities? And have you changed your mind? Maybe. Um, I feel like everyone's very welcoming. You know, I don't. Um, you know, first, you know, the first impression of Russian people sometimes is very harsh. You know, <laughs> uh, and they, they, especially the guys, like they always want to, they always want to seem a little mean. I feel like, but the reality is they are not. Everyone's very, very nice. <laughs> so, um, kind of like under that mask, everyone's like kind of smiling and happy and they appreciate you come so much and I don't know, it's just like the hospitality is just like very, very nice. Yeah. Like, you know, we had amazing dinners and everyone wants to drink with us and um, <laughs> everyone's happy we're coming and we have a, the best time. Yeah, well, we're really happy. <laughs> uh, you speak English very fluently, and uh, what Russian words uh, you had time to learn? Nahui uh, and Pista. <laughs> well, <laughs> they, they are not good words. We know. Spasiba, Nice. Well done.
Well done. It's uh, cool, really. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Russian fans uh, really were looking forward to your return, uh, and in a few months they were preparing some surprises and flash mobs. And uh, uh, I'd like to ask you, what is the most memorable gift from the fans you have ever uh, received? Oh God, there are so many. There are so many cute <coughs> things because some people they they write songs and they get creative and they write poems and. Um, it's really hard to pick know. one. I mean, we were on the road for 10 years. Yeah, like, I get like know. nice stuff for Pumba and for the dogs. And <laughs> yeah, we get, nice, we get alcohol a lot. Like, we always appreciate when we get local good alcohol. You know? Yesterday <laughs> we got, um, we, um, what's that called? Um, yeah, what's that called, Chance? A whip. A whip. whip. Yeah. yeah, so it's like the whole SM thing was like going yeah. down yesterday. And then we got the little buttons too. They're, yeah. they're kind of cool. Like wood, wood, wood buttons. The wood buttons. Yeah. And I got buttons. this beautiful bracelet with diamonds. That was beautiful. Yeah. Someone bought me gold and diamonds. <laughs> That's, That's always favorite. appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on behalf of the women's magazine, I can't help asking, uh, what do you think about Russian girls? I think, uh, you know, what I love about them the most is like that they're so confident in the way they dress. Like it always mm -hmm. seems like they know exactly what they want and they just go for it, you know. Especially mm -hmm. even the, the, the girls at the airport and they're like working, so they have their working, um, you know, uniforms on. And mm -hmm. then, but then they have like these fancy... Uh, Dor Baton, uh, Yves Saint Laurent shoes, and you're mm -hmm. like, wow, that's not like I've never seen that in another country. This one girl, she was wearing like sparkly boots, and I was yeah. like, wow. Um, I just like that they know what they want. They seem very confident. I like that. Well, let's see. Uh, what your girls think about strong love of your fans and the fact that you are often traveling? I wonder. Uh, our girls? <laughs> I think they are they are fine with it. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, like if you have a long relationship and and especially like in our life, you, you know, you need a partner that's you know accepting your mm -hmm. life and pretty much live your life. Aren't they uh, jealous? Maybe. They no, 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 because they know they can trust. <laughs> exactly. They are happy when we come and they are very happy when we leave. Exactly, mm -hmm. they're happy when we're gone too. So it's always you know it's always keeps the relationship fresh, keeps the balance. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, they are very yes. happy when you come. Mm -hmm. Uh, how did you spend your spare time and what places are you going to visit in Volgograd? Um, nothing, because we're leaving, we're leaving yeah. almost like oh, tonight. So yeah, yeah. We, came in, we came in last night at 4 in the morning and then we're going to leave uh, mm -hmm. at 6 or 3 tonight. Mm -hmm. That's a pity. So yeah, yeah we, is, we don't get to see anything. anything, it's a pity. Yeah. Next time we come, we're going to see more. Okay, and the last question is, uh, how did you spend your spare time when you don't write the music? We um, drink a lot, usually. we drink, <laughs> we smoke, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what we do. I mean, parties. in general, I have to say, like, whenever we're not on stage, we're working on new material, I'm in the studio constantly, um, so we're definitely making music all day long. Um, and yeah, other than that, I, I have so many hobbies that I mm -hmm. can't even decide, like, I, I don't even have the time to do all of that. Like, I love gaming, for example, I haven't done that in, in forever because um, I just don't have the time. I love riding motorcycle, um, every once in a while we were into sports, now we don't mm -hmm. have the time anymore, as you can see. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and drinking and smoking is... I like to go to the movies, whenever I have mm. time I go to the cinema. And I like to do that. I even go by myself, just like me, and then I love like I love indie movies, like mm -hmm. all the small little theaters, and I have one that's super close to my house, so I, I would go there, mm -hmm. you know, um, when I have time, just by myself at mm -hmm. night. What, what last movie did you see in the cinema? <coughs> oh god, I don't even know. Uh, the last one I saw at this cinema was The Alice, which was an amazing movie. Um, I cried so much, I cried the entire time because it's such a touching movie and it's so, so good. So everyone mm -hmm. that hasn't seen that movie should go and watch it, it's really good. Okay. Thank you very much <laughs> for, for the time well. you could spend for us and I'm sure today um, it, uh, today it, um, it, it will be an amazing show.